What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, uh, Caps, and you enjoy my content, you can smash this up and then be notified for future readings. This is True Sitting for Sonic Capricorn. This can resonate if you have Caps in any aspects of your charts. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Sun, Moon, Hanger, Jupiter, Charge. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. Free general collective reading for Sonic Caps. It's truth hidden. So it's basically what um, someone in your inner energy field doesn't want you to know. It could be anybody. Um, a friend, a neighbor, co-worker, lover, former lover. Um, Sally Sue down the street. I mean, anybody. Anybody. Okay. Spare messages you have. Okay. Spare messages you have. Oh my lord, cats! Oh my lord, are you emotional over person, people, place, or situation, or someone's emotional over you? Or maybe you are have addiction. Or someone you're dealing with has addictions because when the cards fly out like that, it, it can indicate addictions or emotional instability. How that resonates in one's um, life, it could be you or somebody you're connected to. Okay. We have sea serpent and bat. Wildflowers, trickery. Spare messages you have for the Sonic Apps. And like I said, this is things someone in your life does not want you to know. I know it's been a while since I've done this. This series. Spirit messages you have to reflect it. Adjacent possibilities for chakra. Number 24 or 38 could be very significant numbers in one's life. 24 or 38, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to, possible lottery number, possible date birth number, possible green card number, possible jersey number. 24 or 38. Also, a fire sign or water sign could be very significant in your life, possibly. Because uh, bat energy is fire sign energy and sea serpent is water sign energy. If they are, they could have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio in your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, and Midian, Jupiter charts. Or um, maybe this is, um, maybe these signs are keeping something from you, possibly. I guess we'll find out. Let's see, bat. A particular Capricorn is about to have an unexpected visitor show up at their ho their home unexpected. You are about to get since very ba bad vibes from this person. It would not be smart to allow them in. For some, you already had a hidden camera and device in your home. They're going to try to re-implant. Oh, my Lord. Ooh, so you plug it in how it resonates, if this resonates for you. So um, some of you guys have been dealing with hidden camera and it sounds like device energy, voice device, or some other kind of device energy in the past in your own home, space, dwelling, etc., 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 if this resonates. For some, you might not have. But at least one of you guys, it sounds like you have in the past. Um, but however that applies, so at least one of you guys, it sounds like you're about to have an unexpected visitor show up at your door. 
Um, I heard you're going to sense bad vibes off them. For some, it could be a fire sign that's about to show up at your door unexpectedly um, that you're going to sense bad vibes from. From some, it could be another sign. But however that resonates, I um, heard it wouldn't be smart to let him in because some, some, because some of you guys have already, um, you're about to pick up the bad vibes. You're about to pick up the bad vibes from this person. And so it wouldn't be smart to allow him in. Of course, you have your own logic, intuition, and reasoning. If you allow them in, that's, that's you. But um, I heard from spiritual download, it wouldn't be smart to allow them in. So um, I think they have dark intentions here. We have the bad energy. I think they have dark intentions. Um, dark. Um, they have dark intentions. Whoever this person is and how they apply, if this message applies for you. Um, for some, you've already dealt with hidden camera energy and device energy in the past. For some, you might not have, and that's why they're coming to your door to get in to try to implant something in your home, possibly. Um, only you know your story, not anybody else. But um, bad energy, I feel is the dark, um, the dark vibe energy, the dark forces energy here of this person. For some, you're highly intuitive. You're about to feel it. You're about to feel it. For some, sex magic is about to be heavily used on you. Have boldly. It would not be smart to engage. Oh, I heard for some of you guys, sex magic is about to be used on you heavily, heavily. It would not be smart to engage. So, um, sex magic energy. Um, I think they're about to use their dark forces here. I'm equating this bad energy to dark forces. Um, dark magic, dark forces. Whether it's hidden camera device energy wanting to be implanted in your home or sex magic. Um, definite dark forces energy. Uh, but somebody's going to try to put the sex magic on you soon, Caps. I heard it wouldn't be smart to engage. I think they're going to try to um, have sex with you or do inappropriate things with you um, sexually, like dirty things. But I don't think, but you know, and don't get me wrong. I mean, doing dirty, not raunchy, um, fun sexual things is that's there's nothing wrong with that if it's a healthy copacetic relationship but whoever this is for i don't think you're even in a relationship with this person i heard sex magic so i don't think you're in a relationship with this person i don't think you're in a healthy copacetic relationship i just think it's somebody that you're around in subject form or fashion that's about to put the damn moves on you but for strategic reasons and i'm serious for some it could be a baby mom or baby daddy i didn't hear that but it may be but they don't have good intentions i'll tell you that Whoever it is and however it applies. Sea serpent. A very tricky water sign is about to really try to manipulate you soon. Very heavily. For some, you've already got wake-up calls to this person. For some, you're about to. Be smart to keep this person at bay. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Um, so, well, I think it goes with both of this. Her, for some, a very tricky water sign is about to um, try to manipulate you, basically. I think... Verbal manipulation is what I'm thinking for some of you guys. It, for some, it could be swindling you out of money. Um, but I definitely feel verbal verbal manipulation here. I didn't hear that. That's just what I'm feeling. Um, for some, it could be uh, online swindling of money, like catfishing energy, frauding, spamming, whatever. Um, but I feel definite verbal manipulation here. It's a water sign energy. Um, for some, it's a new water sign. For some, it's someone you already know. For some, it's a new water sign. For some, it's someone you already know. So, um, for some of you guys, it's a new person in your life. For some, it is someone you already know. They could have Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or feminine, Hammer, Jupiter charts. But they're about to trick you, swindle you, do something shifty, whatever it is. I heard it be smart to keep this person at bay. So, basically, keep your boundaries. Keep, your, um, keep yourself protected from this person. Wildflowers.
Someone is about to send a Capricorn flower soon, but what you don't know is there is a listening device in this setup. Oh my God, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. What? Oh God. I mean, I'm not laughing at this situation. This is terrible. But I'm laughing to the greater lengths people freaking go. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. Somebody is about to send you, it sounds like a flower floral arrangement is what it sounds like. But um, for at least one of you guys, now it just might hopefully just apply for one of you guys. I mean, maybe 500 of you guys get sent floral arrangements. But it sounds like at least for one of you guys, it's going to have a, a listening device in it. I check my floral arrangements if I get sent, um, if I was you, Caps, and you get sent one soon. Um, I hate to put that out there, but dear God, you plug it in. <laughs> I mean, people go through the craziest freaking links. I mean, what? What, what, what? <laughs> what the hell, man? You plug it in, how it resonates. So, listening device and a floral arrangement soon. Um, somebody needs to be careful. <laughs> Now, obviously, they don't want you to know that. They don't want you to know any of this. Sex magic, manipulation, um, somebody about to show up at your door and you're about to sense bad vibes, but they want to put a listening device in your home or a camera. I mean, listening devices and floor arrangements. I mean, yeah, of course, these people don't want you to know that. Yeah, of course. Oh, Lord. Trickery. A Capricorn is about to really, really, really notice, oh my God, very strange things on a website, very strange. They know it's not right. It is a person of their past. They're about to report it. And you are about to do the right thing because it is a fraudulent website, catfishy fraudulent website. It is not this person. You are about to be a hero. Well, that's a good one. Good mic drop. Um, so you plug in how it resonates. So what are you guys about to be a hero? What they don't want you to know is one of you guys about to be a hero. You're about, there's a lot of online energy in here. Um, one of you guys is about to come across. It's a person of your past, whoever this is for, Capricorn. It's a person of your past. So I don't think you inter um, interact with them right now in the energetic space if this resonates for you. Um, but it is someone you know, someone of your past. But it sounds like you're about to come across, across a website that's about to portray that it's this person. Um, I think it has their pictures on there. It portrays that it is them. But what you don't know, what they, somebody doesn't want you to know, is it really isn't them. It is person or people catfishing this person through their pictures and pretending it's them on this website, pretending it's their website. But I heard you're, um, it'd be smart to report it. So what they don't want you to know is it's a catfishy, spammy, fraudulent website. And I heard once you report it, it's going to create negative series of chain events for them. So I heard you are going to report it. So trickery with a fraudulent, catfishy, spammy website of this person in your past is not really a person in your past. That's what they don't want you to know. And what they don't want you to know is their ass is about to get busted when you report it, basically. Um, because you're about to pick, you're highly intuitive, whoever you are. Um, you're about to pick up it's not this person and you're about to report it but what you don't know is when you report it it's going to create negative series of chain events for the fraudulent scammy catfishy people that have created this website on this person in your past because it's not really this person in your past it's somebody trying to make money off them or they do make money off them with this website oh we angel of death Someone in a Capricorn's family has passed away. Some, some with the last 10 years, some the last five years, some the last year. Some, you are about to find this out soon. It has been hidden from you for strategic reasons. Oh, Lord, that's terrible. You plug it in how it resonates. That's terrible. So for some of you guys, you're about to find out what they don't want you to know is you're about to find out about death in your family. Uh, but I heard it's been uh, also what they don't want you to know, whoever this person is and how they applied in your life. 
Um, they hid it from you for strategic reasons. For some, it's a death that has occurred, it sounds like, within the last 10 years. For some, within the last five years. For some, within the last year. That could be the trickery energy as well. They have strategically hid the fact and tricked you and to, into not knowing about this death, basically. Um, but I heard you're about to find it out soon. It sounds like through a series of chain of events. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates. That is messed up, man. For some, it could be because they're hiding um, stolen inheritances from you, possibly. I didn't hear any of that, but it might be. There's a reason you're about to learn about this death now, is what I'm trying to say. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates. Adjacent possibilities. Many people want a particular Capricorn in many different companies. Someone has been strategically hiding this from you because they want to keep you stuck. Oh, Lord. Uh, somebody wants a particular Capricorn. Um, so it's like, they, like you're a hot commodity, whoever you are. Caps, masculine or femme, whoever you are and how this applies. You're a hot commodity. I think you have lots of skill set. Lots of street knowledge, lots of um, offerings to the universe. I think you um, you either have a lot of education or you have a lot of skill set and street knowledge or a combination of both that really sets you apart from um, the the uh, the rest of the people, basically. But uh, it sounds like you're currently working in a current company and place and position. I Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. But I heard um, somebody. In, it sounds like your current company knows many people and many companies uh, want you. They know they want you. This is what they don't want you to know is they know they want you, but they're strategically not telling you to keep you stuck, so you don't go out and know your worth. And I think look for other jobs and look for adjacent possibilities and 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 apply for these other positions and connect with these other people because they want to keep you stuck. They don't want you to know you have adjacent possibilities in other companies and other uh, positions in other areas um, because they want to strategically keep you stuck where you are. It's somebody in your company is what they don't want you to know. They know that other people want you. They know, but they don't want you to, you to know it. So you plug it in how it resonates if that message applies for you. Four Chakra, Archangel Raphael. A particular Capricorn's partner, for some, their third party, for some, their spouse, they are in love with somebody else. Oh, my God. Woo. Heavy Taurus energy. Oh, oh, my gosh. You plug it in. How resonant. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, man. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. That's why I remain single. Oh, I want to be with somebody that wants me all the damn time. I mean, not like a sex magic kind of way, but somebody that doesn't want to cheat on me and um, hurt my heart because um, I have a big heart and uh, especially when it comes to love and somebody stomping all over your damn heart, whoever this is for. I just hate it. I hate it for you if this resonates for you. Oh, Lord. So if this resonates for you, and Sagittarius energy, and Sagittarius energy, oh Lord. So I feel for some, you're dealing with a, a Taurus and a Sagittarius. Um, if this resonates for you, they could have Taurus or Sag and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Moon, Hammer, Jupiter charts. For some, this could be your bat energy, the um, fire sign energy, Aries, Leo, Sag energy, with the um, Sag energy. Oh Lord. For some, I heard it's a partner, so that could be a girlfriend, boyfriend, live-in, fiance, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. For some, that could be, um, I heard a spouse, so a husband or a wife, and for some, it's a third-party energy. So, you know, we all know what third parties are. Um, you, I think you free willingly are in this third party. Um, it could be a, a mistress, a mister, a situationship, a third, some kind of third-party energy, whatever the hell it is and how it applies. Um, but what they don't want you to know is they're in love with somebody else. Mm. For some, it's a Sag. For some, it's a Taurus. 
They could have Sagittarius or Taurus in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Full Moon, Heaven, or Jupiter charts. You plug it in, how it resonates. That could be the trickery, too. Trickery would love. I feel for some, they might be seeing uh, these people, or, or, or if they're not seeing them now, they obviously saw them in the past. You plug it in, how it resonates. With the adjacent possibilities in love. Oh, my God. But for some, you're in willing third-party situations. So, you know you're at a third party. But, dear, I would never do third parties. That, that's just too damn messy. You plug it in, how it resonates. Let me see if I hear anything else. Okay, I didn't. I didn't. All right, you guys, I hope this helped. If you think anyone else would like my channel, please feel free to share my channel on your um, social media and word of mouth. I very much appreciate it. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys, and namaste.